What's going on YouTube land? Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel NC Tough TV. So yo, we're gonna be talking about your boy Usher, right? So apparently Usher has come to some type of agreement with Laura Helm. If you guys don't know who Laura Helm is, she's the female that has alleged that Usher gave her herpes. And she actually had a lawsuit out against him. So initially, Laura Helm has set out to get $20 million from your boy. 20 mil. And Usher was like, no, no, no. So now there are reports that are circulating saying that they have come to an agreement. So let's just run over here and read those receipts and see what MTO News has to say in regards to this matter. Usher reached a resolution with woman accusing him of spreading herpes. Laura Helm's $20 million lawsuit was dropped. The case was dismissed this week. As it was dismissed with prejudice, the case is now closed and Helm can't refile. Lawyers on Georgia woman's side and for Usher called the agreement amicable. They would not say how much money was involved in the settlement of the case. Helm first sued in 2017, then dropped the lawsuit months later, but refiled 2018. Other women and a man have sued Usher for allegedly exposing them to herpes. Helm initially sued for $10 million in 2017, but then doubled the financial demand claiming she suffered emotional harm negligence, battery, and fraud. She filed to dismiss the $20 million case against the Burn Singer a few months later. Y'all hear that shade? The Burn Singer? Anyway, TMZ reported that Helm, also a singer, was recorded in a phone call telling someone two days before filing the suit that she only ever had safe sex with the star. Helm's lawyer withdrew from the case and a new attorney she hired had the lawsuit immediately dismissed without prejudice with the intent to refile. Helm had initially claimed in court docs that they hadn't used any protection in their trice and that she caught herpes from Usher. Prior to Helm's lawsuit, it emerged Usher had paid $1.1 million to another woman in 2012 a celebrity stylist who accused him of giving her an STD. It was claimed he had been infected since 2010. Another woman suing the Love in the Club singer named Quantasia Sharpton is represented by high profile lawyer Lisa Bloom. Sharpton claimed that while she didn't contract herpes from Usher, he exposed her to it. Yo, so. Guys, right here in the picture, here's Quantasia. This is the other woman that was suing Usher. Now, when she initially came out and said that she had been with Usher, I think there was a lot of people that were upset of the simple fact that Usher tried to body shame her by saying, yo, do you think I would actually sleep with that? And I think it was so wrong on his part if he approached it that way. And I also think his fans that were in defense of him that were saying the same thing they were totally out of line as well. It's not about body shaming at this point. If this woman has a legit claim, let the courts, let the lawyers do their jobs. It doesn't matter about her body and how she looked. Now we know that some people do put things out there to just try to clout chase and I understand that, but at that time, I don't think that it was right to body shame her. That's just my opinion. But my overall opinion of this situation, and I hate to say this, because Usher is my boy, I love his music, I think Usher should be in jail. And the reason why I say this is, if they're saying that allegedly Usher knew that he had a STD back in 2010, and he's already paid off someone, and then you have another person in Laura Helm that has come forth, that's two people. Is Usher telling these women before they have any type of contact physically or in an intimate way that he's been diagnosed with whatever it is that he may have allegedly has he talked to those women about that beforehand to me the classic thing to do is that if you know that you have an std 
you need to let that person know way before it gets intimate. That's just my personal belief. That's how I would roll. If I had something, I would tell that person up front so they can make the decision of whether they want to engage further in any type of physical contact with me. So yo, I'ma let y'all have it, right? I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let a brother know what you think about this situation. I just feel that Usher shouldn't be able to get off so easy just paying them off. He has the money, that's the easy way out. And also for the women who are involved, one million dollars ain't nothing when it comes to your health you know when it comes to your health being compromised one million dollars are you serious i'd rather have my health over any type of money but i understand the circumstances that they've been dealt so it is what it is anyway guys drop down in the comments again and let a brother know what you think if you like this video give it a thumbs up also share this video and if you're new here, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell to be notified of when I drop my next video. It's been real. Peace.